Hello all and welcome to another winged review. Now a while ago I did a review for the GBA version 4 Final Fantasy that way up on the Game Boy Advance. No, there's that way up. There's a good start. But anyway, I, I'll put a link to the first video and um, I did it a little while ago and I recently finished Final Fantasy 2. Uh, the original plan was to do a proper 1 versus 2 um, but with how the first one turned out I decided not to and to just do these instead. I'll, I'll explain more in the original video so I'll put a link up to that. But I recently finished Final Fantasy 2 um, and I so much preferred it. It was a hell of a lot better. My main problem with the, the first one was the um, appearance rate for the enemies. It just got annoying. Um, whereas with this one, it, it fixed a lot of the problems that the first one had. Um, Plot-wise, um, it's something like you know, there's a, a era of peace in the land, and then Blokey Bloke comes along and he decides he wants to take over. Some heroes arrive to save the day, and off you go. Uh, there is more to it than that, but that's the basic overview. Um, the characters themselves actually had a lot more personality than they did in the first one. So um, even right at the start, one of the character says that she's looking for her brother and all that and I thought oh goody a nice bit of her personal storyline and all that um, but then it was barely mentioned again so it's a, a little bit of a, a wasted opportunity but what the hell um, enemy appearance rate much better there's still some points where it was a little bit too high but for the most part it was it was certainly not as bad as it was in the first game um, one thing it definitely did need though was a an item to either reduce the amount of enemy encounters you get or entirely uh, the first one didn't have it either and it was a big disappointment there are certain areas where you just want to get through it you don't want to have to get into fights the main difference with this one is that the it's not like a leveling up system you know where you get experience level up and all that uh, it's more done where in order to become better at something you do it um so you have like different categories of weapons swords axe bows yada 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 um and each time you have one equipped and you use it then you it increases your attack increases your accuracy increases um, if you get hit by an enemy then your health goes up um, and you, equipment it does your defense you can have to get you cast spells to increase that potency and all that sort of thing um, so it's a definitely a different way of doing it which I actually quite enjoy doing um, the problem with it though that I well, it wasn't really a problem um, eventually I got to a place where I came across the chocobo forest and um, when you're riding the chocobo you don't have the random encounters so you can just go around the place and I like exploring and I got to this town in the middle of nowhere um, went in there was some new stuff it had some really good items on sale so I went to battle some of the nearby enemies who were really difficult I was clearly far ahead of where I should have been and um, but I could just about manage to to beat them so it was pretty much a case of get into a fight win it stay at the inn, heal up, do another fight and gradually build up all the money I need to then buy what I wanted. Um, it took a little while but I got there and I was then all kitted out and because I'd spent so long battling all of my characters like stats and stuff had gone up um, I was a bit of a badass. Um, so then it, once I'd finished that I then decided that I'd carry on with the main game and go off to wherever it was I thought I needed to be. The problem though was that it was in the middle of nowhere and to get anywhere was it was a bit of a trek um, and although I was just about able to win some fights with how long it would have taken to get to somewhere and the amount of fights I would have had on the way I couldn't do it there, nowhere was close enough for me to be able to get to so and I, I, I didn't give up but I did sort of get a bit annoyed with it and it took a long while to, to sort of get th through the bit I ended up um, sort of taking a few place bases saving it walking a little bit further saving it walking a bit further so that if I got into a fight and I failed I could just restart the game and then carry on and bit by bit I eventually got there and I continued on with the main game um, and I, I really enjoyed the game I really did I much preferred the first one um, it wasn't perfect there were a few annoying aspects as like the aforementioned um, uh, encounters now when you you're going through a cave and there's only one point you go through a cave you do something you go back you get given something and then have to go the way back through the cave to go to somewhere else in the cave and do something and when you're getting into all these random battles each time and the battles because I was so overpowered the battles were just an annoyance really they just got in the way so it would have been really helpful to have something to just cut them out altogether and um, but because I was forced to do them you can run of course but I found that the actual chances of running was so low that it wasn't really worth it so I just ended up doing the battles anyway which of course meant that I was getting even more health even more attack and everything and it got to the point where I was quite strong and I just decided that as I was 
going through the game I would just give each character different weapons and I would pretty much just make it so that I could try and build up every character's stats in each weapon um, it is just a general sly like one to whatever level but when you've got about I don't know, nine ten different weapons and each one's a fairly decent level it shows what sort of it's like um, the other main thing that kind of annoyed me was that you have your three main characters and then the fourth slot is it, like different characters who sort of come and go and um, the only problem I found with that was that you'd sort of spend a long time with a character you know you'd be battling build them up you'd be giving them weapons and you'd get your battle system all nicely sorted and it would be great then they'd leave and somebody else would join your group shortly after instead which was normally fine but because they're a new person they would be bog standard very low health attack everything they might have some decent equipment but because their health is so low I mean, there's one point towards the end of the game most of my characters had two or three thousand hp this one guy joins up who had about 600 so and because i was quite late in the game the enemies were quite powerful my guy is perfectly fine slaughtered them lot he did not get killed in one hit so it just it, it did it ruined things in it a, a, not so much ruined it but it did make a frustration that didn't need to be there because i was constantly having to revive the new guy um when I mean, it's okay, fair enough having a new character to have to change your battle strategy to incorporate you know you lose someone who's good at magic and then you gain someone who's good with physical um, attacks so you have to change your battle strategy to compensate for that not a problem it's fine but when they die after one or two hits then it just gets annoying um, <clears throat> I, I finished the game this time I didn't finish the first one this one I did see it all the way through to the end thoroughly enjoyed it I would definitely recommend this one, I really enjoyed There was a post-game thing, um, Soul of some, something or other, I can't remember what it's called, it's post-game, there's, I'm not, minor spoiler, but a few characters die during the course of the game, and there's a post-game thing where you sort of play as them in the afterlife during the final events, or was it shortly after the final events of the main game, and it sort of, it, it just wraps a few th little things up. Um, I started it, but I didn't carry on with it again it was one of those things where because it, where you play as these characters at some point when you play as them in this post game bit they're the same level as they were back when they left your group or died um so when because the enemies you, you're fighting in this area are quite strong because it's a post game thing again they get sort of had one guy who was ultra powerful and he was just wrecking everything everybody else got killed in a few hits and you know it was just an annoyance that i could have done without i did have a look at what the actual plot side of the thing was and when i realized you know the minor stuff that it did wrap up and sort out i wasn't that fussed that i didn't actually go through it and all that so it's a nice little extra bit to have at the end of it apparently i think there might be one in the first one as well but i don't know i didn't get that but it was a, a nice little touch at the end but ultimately the game itself i thoroughly enjoyed and that's that final fantasy 2 i would play again i'm not sure if there is a new game plus or anything like that but i would definitely do it if there was i really enjoyed it so the first one um you can see, see my other review of that um but as for final fantasy 2 definitely better than the first one uh, i have got uh, final fantasy 3 4 5 and 6 lined up to play so i'll do wing reviews of those as and when i get around to playing them but i'm currently playing through uh, pokemon emerald so it, it might be a little while longer before i get around to those ones but uh for now, Final Fantasy 2, thoroughly enjoyed, a few minor issues, but definitely an improvement on the first one. See you next time.